At the beginning of the 20th century, high European culture found itself in crisis. The musical piece of the problem could be boiled down to four words. After Wagner, whither music? Was further meaningful musical development possible after Parsifal? A similar situation attained in the visual arts, in four more words, after photography, whither painting. This was also an age of rampant jingoistic nationalism. European countries called themselves races rather than nations, so projecting an image of avant-garde cultural superiority demonstrated soft power, a not-too-distant second in importance to military hard power playing a role in psychological warfare. Zoltan Kodai resented Germanic composition courses at the Franz Liszt Academy of Music in Budapest, taught by the German Hans von Kössler. Kössler had never taken the trouble to learn Hungarian. His position at the academy felt like German cultural colonialism put in place by the hated Habsburg monarchy. Kodai and fellow student Béla Bartók both acquired primitive phonographs in 1908 and went into the field to identify, record, and catalog ancient Hungarian tribal folk songs. Their ethnomusicology, not surprisingly, bolstered assertions of Hungarian musical preeminence such as a discovery that Ludwig van Beethoven had used a Hungarian folk song named O Jelena in the Third Symphony. Beethoven, Brahms, and Wagner came under attack, but not Johann Sebastian Bach, one of whose grandfathers was Hungarian. Kodai's moment of epiphany came in 1910 when he first came into contact with the music of Claude Debussy. Debussy, who at that time signed his works Musicien Français, was far ahead of Kodai and Bartok in the game of challenging the German musical edge. The Impressionists, as he and Maurice Ravel were called, drew on musical influences from France's Asian colonies, music Debussy first encountered in the 1889 World's Fair in Paris. The result was a wash of sound made up of pentatonic and whole tone scales over which they laid contrasting European vernacular styles, often Spanish. Ironically, the best Spanish music written then came out of Paris. Kodai immediately saw how the same Impressionist techniques might work with Hungarian folk materials. That was the missing piece of the puzzle. The rest, as they say, is history. The duo, Opus 7, written on the eve of World War I, which the composer hoped would overthrow the Habsburgs in Hungary, is brimming with political symbolism, as well as Hungarian folk influences. In its first movement, for example, the listener hears the taragato, a double reed instrument used during the revolutions of 1848, just as the Scottish bagpipe was a century earlier, to call men of fighting age over long distances to gather together and face a common foe. Simple possession of a taragoto in 1914 carried a death sentence and is still illegal to this day in anywhere but a museum.
Thank you. 